he bongs it all in there I'm folding that hand um, but he checks which is just fantastic just what I wanted to see obviously the blocking bet got him thinking uh, and uh, that, that that just shows you the benefit of using a blocking bet by betting there enough um, it got him thinking well what have I got uh, so that's put fear into him he's checked that I check it not being smart here I want to see what I've got here and what I'm up against and um, in the end I take the pot down nice uh, kept it small played it safe uh, don't get me wrong he could easily have bluffed me off that, that, that in the end but if he bluffed me off it it didn't cost me a lot of money and that's the key thing in dangerous situations like that guys you want to keep the pot small so you don't get shafted ok cool next one alright uh, in the big blind pair of aces nice fold 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 and um, just pull that back that's big stacks very uh, he's been playing in position very tight only a 14% um, call rate 8% raise rate so when he's betting like that he's got a hand uh, and he has been betting in late position when he's betting ok so fold with the bullets raising him up standard 4 bucks raise back and uh, he calls me Clock comes down eight and two, uh, two diamonds on there. Nasty possible draw. Myself uh, and big stacks, and I've gone in a, a full pot size bet here. Ain't pissing around. I got a great hand, but that flop could potentially be very very nasty for me. So I've got to put a pool, full pot size bet in there to uh, basically save big stacks. If you're going for it, it's going to cost you money. With that big bet, he folds. Take the pot down. Nice. Thanks very much. Okay, moving on. Ten twenty-five. You can see there, bears on fifty-eight bucks. So doing well now. Remember, I sat down with twenty-five in both tables. Uh, queen eight suited. Nice trappy little hand. Uh, limp under the gun. It's um, not a full ring table. One, two, three, four, five of us in it. So we're a one person short. So queen eight. Yeah, you can limp with that. Fold from the button. So I've now got position. Raise from the blinds. Uh, very little history in this guy. Um, based on my limp, if he's got an ace, ten, uh, oh, small pair, that's a standard move. So I decide to look him up and see the flop with a uh, queen eight. Flop comes down, and I've hit the queen, but I haven't got a great kicker, and I got one diamond on the table. So not too bad, uh, not great. I want to be careful what I'm doing here. So let's see what happens. Two buck bet into a two seventy five standard continuation bet from somebody that raised pre flop. Simple flat call for me. Six of diamonds comes up. Now with that card, okay, I've now got flush draw, I've got the um, top pair, weak kicker. Technically speaking, I've got fourteen out going to the river. I've got nine for the flush, two for the trips, and possibly three for the for the pair. Okay? My opponent to bet six seventy five in the pot, and he checks to me. Now with the flush on the table, clear sign of weakness. Um, there's no way if he's got ace queen, or um, he's he's, he's going to play that. If he had aces, kings, ace queen, he ain't checking there. Uh, that would be just suicide. That'd be giving me a free card. So based on that, I think I'm well ahead here now. Put in five bucks into a six seventy five pot. Remember, I've got the diamonds. The flush is not a, a worry for me. My opponent folds. Thanks very much. Take the pot down. Okay, there you go. That's that hand. Next one. Ten twenty-five. His bear. Ace queen. Nice hand. Raise. Re-raise two seventy-five to the seventy-five. So and that's Marvin. Uh, Twenty-six here to my right. Fold. Monty folds. Fold. Marvin flat calls me. Okay, great. Flop comes down. Four five king. Um, five bucks in the pot myself to play here very simple checks to me well he could be looking to check raise me we'll find out in a minute well based on the check um, I bang in a 450 continuation bet into a 585 that's a decent chunky size bet um, if he's not got the king he's going away if he's got a draw there I'd be very surprised um, based on that bet Marvin folds take it down very simple thanks so much Moving on to the next one, ten twenty-five. 
here we go now this is one of my this is my biggest mistake in the the, the, the two tables I was playing on this is my biggest mistake so I'll show you what happened here okay now Teal Rico um, 23% uh, call rate 12% raise rate been playing pretty solidly in the blinds uh, I raise uh, three times the, the the big blind as you can see on the button with ace queen which is great and Teal Rico re-raised me back now he'd done that several times to me right when I'd raised on the button um, which is a bit of a bummer and it was annoying me um, but with ace queen in position that's well worth uh, looking this guy up so based on the fact that he'd done this to me several times now obviously I don't know what he's got um, I decide to quite simply flat call him now some people would have gone re-raising him back there um, but ace queen it's a good hand it's not a great hand okay I'm still drawing so I want to see that flop and let's obviously gauge the betting at that point now what a nightmare flop um, I don't know what Teal's got at this stage but he's just hit that an absolute belter he's got the jack with a top kicker he's got a flush draw nut flush draw um, and that's a complete bet now when I look at those spades I've got the queen of spades so I'm not 100% uncomfortable what I'm looking at I've got a gut shot there as you can see four outs uh, for the straight and technically speaking with the ace queen I could have six outs for the over pair now obviously if he's got ace queen then we're, we're, we're level pegging if he's got ace king then I'm in a bit of bother here so uh, again I don't know what Teal's got because he's done this to me before on some occasions he could have a pair a small pair he could have pair eights pair nines I don't know so let's see what happens puts it a 150 bet now that that's this in hindsight um, was extremely sneaky the pot's 425 and he puts in a really weak bet of, of 150 now that is what encourages me to make uh, the mistakes in this hand I look at that and I go flush draw 150 bet hmm well weak um would he have raised me with the jack? Ace jack? Would he have re-raised me back? Don't think so. That's my thought patterns. So, I flat call him. Again, testing the water. Want to see what reaction I get. Because uh, he's made it so cheap for my gut shot. I mean, he's given me the odds there. I mean, uh, if I just go back to the, the odds calculator, I need 1.6 to 1 to the river to hold that. To the, just to the turn, I need 3.7 to 1, and I'm getting 3.8. So he's given me all the odds to call that. So I call him. Very cheap. Um, and the jack comes down. So now I'm thinking, he can't have to, you know, he should have to God, he's not got the jack. Trick jack's there. He wouldn't have weak betted that, that, that flush draw flop. Uh, and that's the way my brain's thinking. I'm thinking, flush draw, uh, jack there, weak bet. Another jack comes down. Nah, surely he's not got the jack. He must be drawing. At best, he's drawing, or maybe he's hit the 10. Maybe he re raised me back with ace 10. Maybe he's got a pair. Pair of nines. Pair of eights. Pair of sevens. You know, so uh, I'm thinking that, that jack is, is deceptive. So, he bets 225 into a 725 pot. Now, obviously, I do not know he's got ace jack, but again, it looks weak. Doesn't it, guys? You know, look, flush draw there. It's really weak bet. Now, obviously, in hindsight, he's milking the shit out of me, <laughs> and it's so fucking sneaky. It's beautiful. I mean, I mean, Teal's sitting there rubbing his paws, saying, "Please call, please call," and he's just milking me here. Um, but I don't know that. I'm just looking at the first bet on the flop was very weak. The second bet looks just as weak. Two twenty-five. I think right. I'm going to represent that I've got the jack, <laughs> okay? Uh, and I pound him back with a four fifty raise bet strong move obviously six bucks would have been even stronger but you know I've just seen two really weak bets and I'm thinking right there we go that'll be enough to take it down um, he's going to run away with that and we're presenting trip jacks here he flat calls me and I'm thinking bloody hell what's he got anyway and then bang the seven of spades comes down so I don't believe at the jacks that's what I said to myself so has he has he has he, has he miracled that bloody flush on me 16 bucks in the pot, teal to go, and peace to the resistance. He's done weak bet, weak bet. He goes and checks me. 
And it's like, you know, and don't get me wrong, I, he's played this to perfection. You know, he's suckered me in big style. Right, I got 30 bucks left. There's a $16 pot there. Okay, and 